Amen. Oh, praise God we are together again. I hope that you all are doing well and blessed. And please forgive my long delay, but uh, I have a dream, a new dream to share with you. And I take time and prayer to thank God for these uh, amazing messages, but then also uh, to make sure it's something to share, which I do believe this is because it really affects the globe, like literally from your neighbor to another nation. We're all dealing with this right now. It's uh, about the health crisis going on. Um, I have to be cryptic because a lot of channels are seeing um, adversity. I have to be careful. Um, and I don't want to be cut off from you. So I'm going to do my best and be careful. Uh, but still share this amazing dream okay so um i pray and i make sure that uh it's also something to share and the other day my daughter gave me confirmation i thought uh, was it yesterday it might have been yesterday amen um it's all blending together right <laughs> so anyway um i'm like uh, as soon as she said it i was like praise god you know, like, it was just, it was one of those moments, like, thank you, okay, it's time. Uh, but she says to me, I'm taking her to her summer program, and she says from the back, she said, Mom, um, we're survivors, we, she says, we're survivors. And I said, we are? And she's like, we're still healthy and, and thriving, and we survived. And I thought, that is nothing but God. That is nothing but Jesus speaking through my child right now. We are survivors because of our Savior. He stepped in the gap for us. He laid down his life for us. God sent him to us, sent his only son, Jesus Christ, through Mary, poured himself into Mary to create this amazing, perfect um, glorious being that was here on earth to teach us and love us and to show us the way to lay down his life so that we have the opportunity to choose to be with God and to be saved, to be with our Father forever in, in heaven, amen? Oh, he made it possible and my sweet girl confirmed. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna get to it. It's not very long, but when I got that confirmation from her, it was just this random thing. <laughs> I don't know, not random. It was God working through her, and I thank you, Heavenly Father, for speaking through my daughter in that moment to let us know how blessed we truly are. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, um, let me get to the dream. Like I said, it's very short, but I knew exactly that it was timely for us, and we, we need to keep our eyes open, um, even if it's a little bit. Okay, uh, one sec. Be right back. Okay, so in my dream, I'm laying down in bed. My eyes are closed and I'm sleeping. But something wakes me up in my dream and I barely open my eyes. Just enough to kind of peek through my lashes, but not, not like wide eyes awake. And I can see um, my blanket, but it's not the blanket I sleep under now. I, I love uh, the Denver Broncos <laughs> and a friend of mine knows that and um, some of the nights were a little cooler uh, when this when the dream happened and I was sleeping under my Broncos blanket but in my dream I was sleeping under um, a blanket that my husband gave me years ago for our wedding anniversary. So I think that's important that's why I'm sharing it. Uh, but I know I knew exactly the blanket uh, when I was dreaming. So I see my hands, and they're stretched out in front of me, and um, laying on top of my wedding anniversary blanket. And all of a sudden, I see a second pair of hands over 
my hands. The one on the left was empty and the one on the right had a syringe and I was very concerned but I wanted to see what was going to happen next so in my dream I'm watching this happening of these hands hovering over my hands one hand uh, open and the other hand with a syringe and I see the hand that's open reach out for my the left hand reached out from my left hand and I'm like okay that's weird and they grabbed it, it took a hold of one of my fingers and the right hand with a syringe moved over to the left finger, my left finger, and was going to prick my finger with a syringe. And I started to get upset, like what's going on? Is Are they trying to stick something in my finger? So I stretched out my fingers in my dream wide like this in front of me. And the hands went away like poof they were just like flat like they pulled themselves back and I still I'm peeking through my lashes and I'm like huh they just went away when I moved they think I'm asleep so then I laid my hands flat like they were still stretching my fingers out like if I was stretching in front of me but I laid them flat on my thighs and um, kept them there the hands came back. Left hand empty. Right hand with a syringe. And I'm like, oh no. No, no, no. I see you. And I see what you're up to. You're trying to stick me with something while you think I'm asleep. These are the thoughts I'm having in my dream. And it was like I was observing but then I, I was taking control at the same time. I wasn't just letting it happen. So then the same thing, the left hand over my left hand took a hold of a finger and the right hand with a syringe started to come over to prick the finger. This time I balled my hands up like a fist and totally denied it and the hands went away quickly again and in my dream I was thinking you're not going to get me you're not going to get me that was what I was thinking in my dream and my hands were tight and then I thought I've had enough and I woke myself up. So that was the end of the dream. And I thank God for the power that he has poured into me that I, even in dreams, can deny them. But I think I understand this one. I would love to hear what you think. But I believe that the Lord blessed me with an understanding and I'd like to share this with you. We can't be sleeping uh, spiritually. I mean, of course, we have to sleep at night. <laughs> but we, we spiritually need to be awake. We can't have our eyes closed and just believe that it'll all work out. Because it will work out. God is, uh, Jesus is victorious. But we also need to fight in, in a spiritual way. We need to... to know our power that the Lord has given us and deny this evilness that's out there. I have to be careful. So we, for whatever reason, they want access to our bloodstream. They want to corrupt what God made perfect. Amen? 
we are made in his image and he is perfection so what he made even if we have a uh, one leg longer than the other or missing an arm completely um, the beautiful pastor that that um, baptized me at 15 in the Colorado River only had one arm he lost it as a child but he doesn't remember it so he didn't need it and he's he's lived his life still living his life without it um, we are beautiful the way we are the way you are God loves you just the way you are so for some reason they want to change that and manipulate it to get control I don't know but I, I, I like I said I, I have to be careful oops I have to be careful and we need to be watching and awake with our eyes open and see that's evil and know it identify it right uh, wasn't it Jesus who who saw the man who was possessed by the river and he begged Jesus that he said he had demons in him and uh, what did Jesus do he commanded uh, I par I'm paraphrasing I should find it in the Bible um, but he um, he he asked the name of the demon and he said legion for we are many but he demanded to know the name let me see if I can find it I'll be right back okay uh, my apologies it's mark and the the story is in 5 mark 5 1 through 13 um, but, but let's scroll down to 9 actually we'll go up to 8 it says um, for he had said to him come out of the man you unclean spirit then Jesus asked him what is your name and he replied my name is Legion for we are many so we have to know this enemy we have to see exactly what it is be awake and aware and and even if we can get a name we call it by its name and cast it out. So we have the power. We can do this. But Jesus showed us the way. But we do need to keep our eyes open and see that these evil spirits are amongst us. And they're out there. And they're going to try to get at us. And if they think we're asleep, then they think we're easy easier to get to. But our eyes are open. Praise God. We are awake and aware. Okay, so I, I hope that this wasn't upsetting. Uh, actually, I hope you find it encouraging. I did, um, for the reason, because it shows us that there is something lurking and it's going to try, even when we're at our most vulnerable, when, when they think we're asleep, but we have to be spiritually awake and identify them and deny them. And that's what I did in my dream. I denied it. Uh, access to me I didn't just let it happen and and that's what we need to do we need to deny it now for those of you who have um, accepted what's in that syringe I say to stay in prayer prayer is the most powerful uh, besides the Bible obviously um, like the Bible is our teacher and and the words are our sword so we just need to stay in prayer and know God's word and know God loves you we all have a personal relationship and I hope you do with Jesus Christ and so I can't say you you can't say me we can't say anything about anyone else because we're gonna stand alone in front of Jesus with the book in our book of life in front of us amen we won't have um, anyone else it will be just us so we have to make our own decisions for us and our family and so I just say it, whatever you do in your life just keep God in your heart keep Jesus in your spirit and have the Holy Spirit running through you constantly as a as a beacon so let the people see that Holy Spirit around the corner before you even make it. They're going to be like, praise God, what is that glowing light? And you come around the corner and you are the light of the Lord. Amen? Okay, I'm going to leave you with this. I thought it was very encouraging. Um, sorry to get a little, uh, to go on and on. But we have power. 
our power. Amen? And we need to stand on the solid, solid rock of God and be confident. Um, our strength is in God. Our power is in Jesus. And we have the Holy Ghost as our shield. It's so beautiful. Okay. Um, it says, we're in Matthew uh, 8, 3. And Jesus put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thou, excuse me, be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. So we need to trust that God, that Jesus will lay hands on us. This is why I thought it was hopeful for the ones who have gone through this process and accepted what was in that syringe because even the ones who have a health crisis, Jesus can lay hands on you and take that away. I don't know. I don't know how God's going to move going forward, how he's already moved in the past, but I know the Bible is true and it says that if Jesus put his hands on you, he can take away something as horrible as leprosy and I believe it. So we can be cleansed. We can be we can be born again. Amen. We can be refreshed anew because Jesus made it made it so. He lays hands on us. So I pray that this is encouraging. Uh, uh, find this dream as um, a sign that we still have power. They, they're trying to take the power, but it's not for them to take. And if you are a child of God and you've already given yourself to Jesus 100%, then they, ha they can't take anything that's already been given. We gave it to, we gave our soul, our spirit, ourselves to God and Jesus 100%. So they can't take what's already been given. Oop. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to let you go. Sorry. got long. I love you. Please take care. And please know how much I love you. And Jesus loves you too. Be well. Be blessed. Oh, I am just making a mess of this. Be well. Be blessed. And we'll talk soon. Bye for now.